this course is basically taking you from thinking about who you are as an individual and placing your individuality into our commonality as pregnant women who will give birth guaranteed 100% of the time. We then take you through the exploration of how to prepare our body for childbirth and about the skills around breath, communication, and touch. Then introduce you to some of the soft skills like two birth plans and teamwork. If you are going to labor, the most important thing is that you have progressive labor. And this lesson helps you understand what we learned many years ago. Because when we did not have a progressive labor, when we had a failure to progress, or we had a stalled labor, or we had a stuck baby, or our cervix didn't dilate, we were either left with two conclusions. One is there was nothing we could do about it because you never know what your birth's gonna be like, so really there is no way to prepare for it. Or we were gonna develop skills, and we developed skills. Why not? So it's really important to understand that a progressive labor is apparent to everybody. A woman knows that that labor is getting more intense every hour or two. And women who are not having progressive labors know it because they say, I feel I've been doing this for hours and everybody agrees with them. So you're going to learn how to identify progressive labor, how to identify a non-progressive one, and what you can do to keep your labor progressive. And one of the things that was so important to us was also to figure out what this word contraction meant. You would hear women say, when the contractions weren't too intense, I coped fine. Then the contractions got more intense. It became harder to cope. And then they became more intense. And then I just felt overwhelmed and I lost it. That's treating contraction as though it's an entity we have no control over. But we realize that it is actually divided into five phases. And so it's important for you to work through each of those five phases using those skills. And then that means that you have more effective contractions. As women say, I didn't waste one contraction. And then they begin to see that their contractions either have a bell-shaped curve, which is progressive, or the contractions flatten out, which means the contractions are not progressive. They then tie these in to the positions or the postures that their bodies are in, or reducing the tension further inside and softening further inside, or creating more space, or breathing more effectively with a directed breathing. The other important thing was helping us as women to stay in the now rather than having our minds start to think in the future or feel about the past or think about other things. You're going to get all of these skills in this lesson. There's one important handout in this, please don't ignore, which is practice. You cannot go, oh yeah, I know that, nor rub them on you. You need to practice skills. Birthing is one-off. You can't repeat it. It's infrequent in your life. The memories last forever. You need to practice your skills. You can't practice to birth beforehand. You have to trust all these many tens and thousands of birthing better families that these skills are real and that they work and that we have to consciously use them and we have to have consciously learned them. Most of them you can practice doing anything else. So for instance, as I'm sitting here talking to you, I'm paying attention to how far apart my sit bones are. I can soften in the pelvic clock. I can make certain that my breathing is conscious and relaxed. I can imagine someone touching me and softening under that touch. I can imagine opening up my pelvis. So the only things you really need to practice while doing, doing, doing is the body skills. The rest of the stuff, practice while you're doing everything else. And this is true for the men as well, the birth coaches as well, men or women. Practice these skills.